Chromebooks school education? Let's find out. Hello, I'm your host, Dan, for Simple Silicon, and today we have a Chromebook. This particular one is from Asus, and I wanted to give my thoughts about uh, using it because we're going to use it uh, for some of our students. This uh, script I wrote on uh, this uh, book here, the experience so far is okay at best. The typing experience is a little mushy. If you were to hit a key, Although there is tactile feedback, the deck flex makes it so your fingers go down quite a bit. Uh, it won't blow you out of the water, but uh, it's okay for like watching YouTube, writing documents, checking email, and of course Google Classroom. You can also download uh, Android apps, so if you have any organizational applications, uh, this will be able to run that. You can also do games and stuff if you want to allow your users to do that. Chrome OS is mostly good for productivity stuff in general, uh, as well as movie watching and web surfing, but you're really not going to be doing anything else uh, with the Chrome OS. It does have a Linux subsystem, and that will allow you to do like a few Linux commands similar to uh, in Windows. The speakers are fairly loud. Uh, they're bottom firing, so they get a bit muffled uh, depending on uh, the surface that it's reflecting off of. Uh, you can definitely hear a lot better when you lift the device like this and then face it towards yourself, but of course that's impractical. Uh, so just beware. They get loud, but they're like, they shake the whole laptop at the louder levels, and you can really feel it in your palms. I recommend getting a pair of headphones, as I do with most laptops, if you want to listen to music. That way you can control exactly the music quality you're getting. The amount of heat that this thing put off was minimal, even during uh, playing some Android games. Uh, this has no ventilation or fans. Um, if you'll notice, you can see that you only have the speaker grills, and on each side you just have the ports for the uh, I.O., which we should probably go over that. Um, we have a USB type uh, A, a, a type C, uh, an SD card reader, headphone jack, and another uh, type A with a type C, and these allow you to charge the device which is nice. Uh, there's no barrel plug or anything, it's just USB Type-C charging and that can do it from both sides. The video conferencing ability of this laptop uh, works on a technical level, but the video quality isn't uh, the best. Uh, I've tried it, but uh, I can say that it works, but it's like 480p. I can hear the other person and the person can hear me. So. It's great for uh, if you need to do parent-teacher conferencing or student-teacher conferencing or being able to watch uh, uh, the, if you present the classroom remotely. Uh, it works for that, and if a student needs to like call in to ask a question, you can have that sort of interaction. And it'll do just fine, I would say. As for the trackpad, it's mostly all right. Uh, the uh, buttons are underneath the trackpad and, and it can get kind of confusing uh, how far over you just need to be to click. I often find myself clicking too close to center and ends up just smashing both buttons. Something to be aware about. It's not the best experience, uh, but you're getting this for like, what, 300 bucks? So, you know, decent for what it is. Before we end the video, I did want to talk about the screen a little bit. Uh, it is horrible, like really, really bad. Any type of shifting of any kind, and you're getting extreme color shifts, uh, anything except looking directly on the screen. And that's about it. There's not much more I can think about Chrome RS. Uh, it's, you can't do much with it. Uh, it's all meant to interact with the cloud-based apps. That's the whole thing that they're pushing. Uh, so web surfing, email, and uh, video watching, That's and document writing. That's what you're doing on Chrome OS. You, you can play a game. I've played the games. They run fairly fine. Uh, I mean, it's a Celeron processor, so it's uh, two-core. Um, 
and uh, file space, you know, 32 gigs, 16 gigs. Uh, you're not getting like any big hard drive or anything in here. So it's SSD, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, if you like that, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, a thumbs up, you know what to do. And uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy. Bye.